University, Zaria, Nigeria, I'm presenting a paper titled Geospatial Analysis of Imperial Surfaces and Their Effect on Land Surface Temperature in Abuja, Nigeria. With rapid urbanization, natural land surfaces originally covered by vegetation have been replaced by various impervious features. Land surface temperature is an important parameter which has been employed over the years in the assessment of the environment. Now, these urban um, impervious surfaces are a land cover type which have higher absorption of solar radiation and they also have high thermal conductivity. Impervious surface release heat during, stored during the day and night, and so the impervious surface have a warming effect on the urban land surface temperature. Over the years, impervious um, surface area have found relevance as it is being used as a key environmental indicator. Three major algorithms have been created and utilized to extract impervious surface area from remotely sensed imagery. These include spectral unmixing techniques, machine learning methods, and the spectral index methods with their subcategories as seen here. The normalized difference in previous surface index belongs to the category of special index. Um, and these, the spectral index indices have been found to measure the biophysical properties of the air surface more accurately than the two other methods. Normalized difference, uh, difference uh, in previous surface index was utilized in the study to estimate the previous surface areas. The index can efficiently enhance and extract impervious surfaces from satellite imagery and the real proportion of uh, the impervious surface can be represented as well. The city of Abuja is currently experiencing rapid urbanization, and so there is a rise in anthropogenic activities such as construction of roads, pavements, and residential areas. All of these give rise to the formation of uh, impervious surfaces. Uh, the impervious surface increases the urban mean surface temperature over time, and this concern is noticed in the formation of urban heat island facilitated by impervious surfaces. Analyzing the relationship between impervious surface and land surface temperature is very important in recognizing, controlling, and mitigating the environmental impacts of urban heat islands in planning and developing the city of Abuja. This study examines the impact of the spatial distributions of impervious surface on land surface temperature in the study area for a 14-year period from 2004 to 2018 using both graphical and quantitative approach. This is with a view to investigate the impact of impervious surface on the urban heat environment. The study area is the federal capital territory of Nigeria. It's popularly known as Abuja City. Uh, it is located between um, this latitude and longitude. It has an area of about 8,000 km square, um, situated at 840 meters above mean sea level. Um, as of 2020, it has a population of about 2.99 million and the climate it enjoys a, a tropical wet and dry climate with a mean a annual mean temperatures ranging between 25 degrees celsius to 30 degrees celsius and with a mean annual um, rainfall of about 1631 1, millimeters now we can see a map of study area next slide now uh, the method of data acquisition um, the data set used in this study basically were Landsat uh, imagery, that's Landsat 7 and Landsat 8, and here we see the characteristics of this uh, of this satellite images. They all have 30 meter resolution, and these are the dates uh, of collection with 0% cloud. Um, after the data acquisition, uh, geometric and radiometric correction were carried out, and the reason for carrying out this correction is correct for sensor and platform specific distortions due to variations in scene illumination and viewing geometry. Atmospheric condition and sensor noise and response are also corrected uh, in geometric and radiometric correction. And then on that, the radiometric correction as well, there is conversion of email pictures to at sensor reflectance. Um, Scanline error correction was carried out for Lancer 7 imagery and the image was finally subset uh, to the administrative boundary of the study area. Next, the land surface temperature was retrieved using this formula, and after that, the top of atmosphere brightness temperature was also retrieved using the, the spectral radiance which was created earlier on. Uh, after this creation, the normalized different vegetation index was used to estimate the proportion of vegetation and the uh, um, the surface emissivity, which were further used to calculate the land surface temperature using this using this formula. 
in this study the the threshold metals were used to obtain that land surface emissivity this formula was used to derive the ndvi used in this study um, two reasons why the ndvi was calculated for was for understanding the city's vegetation pattern and secondly is to extract the emissivity value then the impervious surface were extracted the index based technique was used in this study to map out the impervious surface of Abuja. A normalized difference in previous surface index uh, was estimated to depict each epoch using this uh, equation. And the, this index can isolate impervious surfaces from non impervious surfaces, um, such as soil, water, and vegetation. Lastly, the statistical analysis was carried out using correlation and uh, regression analysis which were used to examine and um, analyze the impact of urban surface and uh, impervious surface on urban surface temperature in Abuja city. This was achieved by examining its quantitative relationship with land surface temperature and vegetation represented by the vegetation index. The sample points selected were distributed across conspicuous impervious surface features such as built up area, pavements, bare surfaces, um, vegetation and water. These are the results of the study. Um, this shows the spatial distribution of land surface temperature in Abuja city for the year 2004-2008. On next slide, we see the distribution for 2014 and 2018. And also, this figure shows the summary of the trend of land surface temperature between 2004 and 2018. And we can see a gradual increase in, in surface temperature. Um, both the minimum, the maximum, and the uh, mean temperature in Abuja city between 2004 and 2018. Results show a gradual increase in mean surface temperature by at least 2 degrees Celsius over the years within the study period, a total average increase of 6 degrees Celsius between 2004 and 2018. The highest temperatures were observed in regions experiencing rapid urbanization, uh, mostly in the south of Abuja. Meanwhile, a large portion of Abuja city experiences maximum land surface temperature uh, of over 14 degrees Celsius in the study period. The high temperatures are detected in large commercial and residential areas due to the influx of people and the possible air heating impacts of gases emitted from vehicles, um, building, cooling systems, and reflection absorbance of routine sheets. This result shows the spatial pattern of the distribution of vegetation in the study area. The high uh, NDVI values indicate abundance of vegetative cover as compared to areas with low NDVI values. Uh, areas of high vegetation are mostly cultivated lands, grasslands, and other undeveloped natural surfaces, while areas with least vegetation are the built up uh, urban areas, the boy soil, the water, and the rocks as well. The next result is a spatial pattern of impervious surfaces in Abuja. This result shows the spatial pattern of impervious surface as distributed over Abuja, Nigeria. It incorporates urban surface such as rooftops, roads, parking lots, and natural impervious surface such as wetlands and water bodies. The maps for the impervious surfaces are shown in the next slide. These maps are the maps of the impervious surfaces as recorded in Abuja in 2004, 2008, 2014, and 2018. From the result, it was found that Abuja City indeed underwent widespread organization, which in turn led to the creation of impervious surfaces, such as rooftops, roads, parking lots, sidewalks, and driveways. The values of uh, land surface temperature and impervious surface extracted, were extracted to 150 sample points, identical to all epochs in this study. These sample points were used for the regression and correlation analysis. You can see the result of this analysis in the next figure, which is figure 6. So this is a result of the correlation between um, land surface temperature and uh, the impervious surface index. And this result shows a positive correlation between these two variables, um, which um, indicates uh, or uh, implies that as surface temperature increases, I mean, as the, the impervious surfaces increase around the, uh, the study area, the land surface temperature increases as well in all the years under study. The results indicate the positive correlation uh, between impervious surface and land surface temperature for each epoch, with correlation coefficient values 
um, are seen here for 2004, 2008, um, 2014 and 2018 respectively, all at 95 percent confidence interval. This demonstrates that the development of impervious surface contributes to temperature rise in Abuja city. Further suggests that the surface temperature uh, rise is high in dense impervious surface areas and it's faster there than in lowly dense impervious surface areas. The impact of, land, of impervious surface on land surface temperature in 2018 was more prominent in other preceding years on the study. Um, the next um, result is the relationship between land surface temperature and the normalized different vegetation index, that's the vegetation of the area. Uh, the relationship between land surface temperature and uh, normalized vegetation index was analyzed to test the correlation between these variables to see the effect that um, the vegetation in the area has on land surface temperature. Um, the results are presented in the next figure, which is figure 7. This figure shows a negative correlation between uh, land surface temperature and the NDVI for all the years under study. Uh, we can see the trend line slanting downwards, which shows a negative correlation, which implies that the, the land surface temperature uh, increases as the amount of vegetation in the study area uh, decreases. The results show that there exists a very strong negative correlation between land surface temperature and the normalized difference vegetation index in the study area. Um, the year 2018 showed the strongest correlation with um, correlation um, uh, the, the, the coefficient of determination at, uh, of 0 0.738, which is quite strong, while the weakest correlation was found in, in uh, 2008 uh, between the two variables. Uh, with a uh, coefficient of determination of 0 0.6425. Uh, the results imply that the vegetation cover has an influence on the mean surface temperature obtainable at a particular location, and therefore, where vegetation exists, the temperature of the area is less compared to the built environment as affected by anthropogenic activities. Furthermore, from the results obtained, the negative correlation between land surface temperature and uh, NDVI asserting the cooling impacts of forest, woodland parks, and other green city spaces. This study, uh, in conclusion, sorry, this study gives great insight on the concept of imperial surface and its partial pattern in Abuja City, Nigeria, over a period of 14 years. Um, it reveals that surfaces such as roads, rooftops, uh, pavements situated in urban areas are highly imperial, while surface covered with vegetation possesses low imperiousness. In this paper, the relationship between imperial surface distribution and mean surface temperature of Abuja City, Nigeria, have been studied. The broad characteristics of impervious surface and their effects in enhancing high surface temperature have also been unveiled. The impervious surfaces and the impervious surface as a variable show a significant bivariate relationship to land surface temperature in each period under study. Impervious surface proved to be a true indicator of variations in um, land surface temperature dynamics uh, with a positive linear relationship with land surface temperature, whereas the land surface temperature and the NDVI had a negative linear relationship. It was observed that impervious surface contribute to the surface temperature rise in Abuja, and this can be attributed to anthropogenic activities arising from rapid urbanization, which consequently form impervious surfaces. The study recommends the widespread use of highly reflective or natural surfaces for rooftops, pavements, and roofs, uh, and that afforestation should be encouraged to increase green areas. Thank you for listening.